Hello everyone, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my unboxing. Uh, I came in this white little envelope. This might be the second time I'm getting this one. Um, so I'll have one more and I'll decide whether I'm going to keep it or not. It's Tamed Wild and it came in this little baggie. And I believe this is April's. Oops, I didn't go all the way through. There we go. So this is what it looks like. The box is pretty cute, you know? Mmm, it smells nice. So let's see. Doot -doot -doot. So we got. Okay, we got some cards. Calling on earthly spirits, it says. You can pause it if you would like to read all that. And then we have another, I'm assuming this is the... Cheat sheet. So I'm not gonna read that right now, but... It's pretty card. Has the spoilers. So, ooh, we got this book. It says Earth and Animal Spirits. It's a nice shiny book. In the back has a pretty goddess. We have in here, let's see. Animal Guides. We have, and then it goes over the different butterfly, cat, cow, crow, deer, dog, dolphin, dragonfly, frog, fox, goat, hawk, horse, hummingbird, ladybug, lizard. Leopard, lamb, mouse, and a monkey. Octopus. Otters and owls. The book is pretty. So it goes through all the animals. Ooh. And then after it goes to the animals, it goes into earth spirits, which is cool. And then you got the types of fae, which is nice. So we got pictures of those. Oops, wrong way. That's cute. Then gnomes. Types of gnomes. Goblins. Trolls. Water sprites, spirits, I guess they call them too. And then, let's see, that's kind of cool. And then I seen like elves, the types of elves, and trolls, types of trolls. And I think there was. Then introducing the tree spirits and the types of tree spirits. So, I mean, this is really nice. Goblins. Types of goblins. So, very cool. Nice little book. Okay. I always love her book. Cute little bag. Tame Wild. Let's see what's in this. My hands are so cold. I'm freezing. Freezing here. Oh, it's a little spirit animal. Um, mine looks like a dog, I think. I think mine looks like a cute little, um, long-eared dog. It's probably made of dolomite. I'm not sure. But that's cute. That's my spirit animal. A doggy. I love doggies. 
we have this cute little bag with a sticker. I'm always curious about that. What's in here? Oh, it's a little sample of soap. That's cute. Mm, that's what I smell. It smells awesome, like a lavender, and it has like chunks of amethyst in it. What a waste. I wouldn't want that to go down the drain, you know? Mmm. It is lavender and frankincense. And the info on the soap. Very cute. We have this pretty box. Like it's adventuring or maybe shade. Very pretty. I have bad luck with necklaces, so that's very pretty. Uh, like, see, mine always gets <laughs> a big tangle. So, yeah, I'm not even going to play with this right now. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe I am. Oh, I am lucky. No, not. Okay. So it has a long chain silver in color and it has this look very cute that's the back and that's the front pretty pretty then we have earthly spirits artisan herbal tea A little thin bag here some tea it says it contains fennel seed, flax, fenugreek, fen, fenugreek, <laughs> fenugreek, I don't know, seed, <laughs> licorice root, and peppermint leaf. I'm not a one for words. <laughs> but we have that. Ooh, and we have this. Whatever this is. And that is it. But this box, I think, is only like $20, so I think that's a pretty good deal we got. Maybe an altar cloth. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it is. We got a little altar cloth here. And it's beautiful. As above, I guess so below, you would say. Let me get that in the picture. Yeah, that's pretty. The sun and the moon. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is just really beautiful. Wow. The sun and the moon. As above, so below. The roots. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. I think it's gold. Yeah, it's gold. Very pretty. So yeah, April's box. I like that. You got a nice, beautiful altar cloth. You got a gorgeous pendant, a necklace, I would call it. It's because it came with a chain, some nice tea. Um, We got the spirit animal, which mine was a little dog. We got that nice book and that little sample soap. And then of course this information. So let's just go over what their ritual tools. Earthly spirits tea or earthly spirits tea mixed roots, leaves, and seeds to bridge a connection between physical and spiritual divide. The warming blend of this fennel seed flax Fang Greek seed, licorice root, and peppermint leaf nourishes the digestive system and balances the solar plexus. Brew up a cup after meditation or spell, spell work to draw awareness back into the body. Very cool. This gorgeous um, redecorate your sacred space for spring with the help of our tree of life altar cloth made from a velvety soft fabric in deep earthly shade. We, we can display this cloth on our altar before tarot spreads, pendulum divinations, invocations, or natural or nature deities. Then we got a ritual stone. 
Nothing comes into your life by chance, and this stone is no exception. For this ritual, an animal carved with a gate. Oh, so it's a gate has been chosen for you. No matter, no matter if we know a little or a lot about this creature, with practicing and patience, we will form a bond and discover the message it carries for us. With any luck, it will serve as a guide, one that we can rely on whenever we wish to reconnect with the wild. Crystal bath bar. Sample, they should call it, though. Crystal massaging bath bar by Spirit Element is a daily self-care tool that is also heightens intuition. It is ideal for healers, Reiki practitioners, tarot readers, mediums, and anyone who's interested in incorporating psychic awareness and channeling into their craft. Creative types of art artists can t take advantage of the amethyst crystals, using them as a doorway to the divine, inspiration, and alternate perspectives. Before you begin spell today, perform a ritual hand washing to align your energy with that of your intention. Then the tree of life necklace, made from green adventuring. This necklace is a reminder that all life, no matter how grand or ancient, start as a seed, depending on our ideology, the tree of life can symbolize a human's request for knowledge and the understanding that much of what we seek lies in nature. It reminds us the duality, the other world, our ability to transverse, rea transverse realities and old age as above, so below. And then this beautiful earthly spirits booklet. If you long to speak with the wild ones, rest assured that they've heard your call. Refer to this booklet to learn more about fairies, gnomes, nymphs, and spirits that inhabit the skies, the trees, and the earth. Very cool. I liked this box. Very cool. And then, calling on earth spirits. So this is a little, uh, I guess, ritual here. As we step further into the light half of the year, the fairies, the pixies, and the wild ones start to call for us. They leave us messages beneath the rocks, on top of rolling hills, and tangled within the branches of our favorite trees. But how often do we respond or ask questions in return? And on occasion that we've all actively, on occasion that we're actively listening, do we take these messages to heart or does logic insist that we scatter them to the wind? For this ritual, we call on the wild ones. We invoke the wisdom of the creatures who live amongst the flowers and the ferns. With their blessings, may we remember the psycho um, number, uh, remember the ancient and honor the spirits who have roamed the land long before us. This ritual may be performed outdoors, um, at your altar, or a combination of the two. For this ceremony, we encourage you to let nature take the reins. It is, if you need guidance, look at the animal that's close to you. If you feel uh, resistance, start with a, with a short meditation to introduce yourself and explain the intention behind today's ritual. And then it goes into more. So, really cool. I will leave you the information about this box on the bottom. As always, always want to hear your opinions. Always love to know what's going on. Let me know what you think of this box. Please hit like, subscribe, and notification bell. Guys, it helps me get these videos to you. Talk to you soon. Be safe. Bye.